Step 9. Scale and North Arrow. OK, so in order to get the scale, I'll go back to the Adobe Illustrator file that you were sent originally for your base map. I then just copy that and then I paste it in my map uh, on my poster. So just say yes. And then what I do is I simply, because it's the same scale as to what my map is, I just crop this image. If you're not sure if you've rescaled your map, you can always print out a section and measure it in order to check it's still 1 to 10,000. Or alternatively, use the measure tool on Adobe Illustrator. Make sure that all the excess is off. Okay, and then I drag it to the place I want to keep it below my map. Okay, so I'm going to center it, but depends where you wish to put it. Okay, so uh, you could either leave it like that, but because I like to keep everything the same font, I'm going to use it as a template. Um, so first of all, I'm going to write the scale. Okay, and then I change it to the font that I wish to use. And move it into place. Sometimes if you centralise it, it means it's easier to align. Okay, and then in order to make the scale bar, I just use the rectangle tool and trace it out. and copy and paste now that I already know the set size into the bars. You'll see those kind of purple lines, they're telling me that everything's aligned. Okay. And then in order to make the white, white boxes, I just simply make a single box and make it opaque with a border. So you'll see here, and I'll just elongate it a little bit. Give it a border, make it see-through, and there you go. There's a scale bar. So now I need to write the numbers on. Uh, okay. So I make them a little bit smaller, not by dragging, that was an accident. So yeah, and then have, now that I've finished that, you can see I've even put the bottom part. I can just delete that and there you go. I've got a scale bar all neatly done to the way I want it to do. So the next thing is to put a north arrow on in, in order to indicate the orientation of this map. So you, so you can see Adobe Illustrator actually provides a number of arrows. So you go to Window, then Brush, library and then you click on click on arrow and I usually click on this arrow standard but there is various ones there's some crazy ones in a, in this arrow special that you may well I wouldn't advise to use um, then so you just play around with the orientation you can select different arrows to see whichever which one suits your map or which one you like point it north Put in the north indicator. You can either write at north or even just keep the end like I have here. And then that's either you've done a north arrow. Um, there are other arrows I was saying there. So they're the patterned arrows, they're a bit odd. Yeah, some of these arrow specials are, are really odd. I really wouldn't, like such as this one, nobody's, no, you definitely shouldn't use that one. Um, but yeah, um, and you can see 
that indicates well. Alternatively, if you don't actually like any of the arrows, you can draw your own one. So see this one here? I'm using the pen tool and then I've drawn out half tri well, a triangle and then pasted that, made it white with a border black and done the same with the black and then I just swap it over so it's the opposite and then this is just how I tend to do my arrows but it's, it's that's just my preference um, and you can see that they align well just kind of matches my scale bar I suppose that's why I tend to do it this way and then make it the right size Okay, and then I just group it together so they don't jump apart accidentally. And that's me done a scale and a north arrow. There you go. And then I save it and that's you done. Okay, so that's you finished your map. As you can see, there's actually quite a lot of space to fill if you're going to make it an A0 poster. You can always still make an A1 as well. Um, so you can include cross sections as well, a key. An introduction of your, or a summary of your area. You could talk about your focus study, i.e. your mini project. Include figures of rose diagrams and stair nets if you have the space. And of course you can include an Aberdeen logo, but don't make it massive. Okay, so good luck. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me. Or alternatively, come and see me in Meston 126. So yeah, I hope this has all helped.